Hey, what is up guys? So, I woke up last night and I really felt like making some content. I was supposed to be having a little break right now, but you know, it. let's just make something. I only have my my phone, so it's, I guess the Wii blog style kind of thing. I've been wanting a new acoustic guitar for quite some time now and I figured I'm gonna go check out some stores here in Oslo, see what they have. Have some specific ones in mind, but yeah, we'll just see what comes of it. There's a few stores I wanna check out. Let's, let's do that, but before, before we go, I know, I know. This right here, this is what you're wondering about. This is the important stuff. I cut my hair, it is true. But with that said, I'm gonna grow it out again. It's just that this shape kind of got a little weird after a while, after doing it at home. So, chill. I know you guys like hair a lot, so. Well, let's, let, let's get the fuck out of here. All right, so I haven't really owned an acoustic guitar in like 10 years or something. Because mostly I've been programming them. You heard them on some of my songs. Uh, they're like this plugin from Ample Sound called Ample Guitar 12 and Ample Guitar T, which is a Taylor model. So now I want my own, finally, you know? Because it's never really been my area of expertise. Wow, noisy. I've been looking at some Taylor guitars and Norman looked pretty promising, but the Taylor one is the one I want, so. But first, we gotta grab some breakfast. Where is my breakfast? There. Gotta ah. uh. start your day off right, you know? And anyway, you know, even though I've been in Oslo a lot, I've lived here for several years, I mean, it's not far away, it's like 40 minutes of the train or something, but I'm not often here anymore. This is like, I used to live over here for a year. Also, another place where there was like students, student apartments, stayed there for several years, a lot of good memories, man. And I think, oh yeah, I think I'm here where they used to have like this kick-ass metal bar. I mean, it wasn't a metal bar, but it was just like really cheap beer. <laughs> and, and like a karaoke with Pantera and all that stuff. Good times, man. And right over there, that's where I used to hang. That was where everything, everything cool went down. How many times I've been drunk in the streets over here, I cannot even count, man. Great times. Also, that's the Rocky Photo stage. You know, kind of sad to see it, see it like this, but that's how it goes. And you know, I'm just going like a slight detour before heading to the, to the shop because this is the student apartments where I used to live. And uh, yeah, great times. Had a few friends living here at the same time. Then those yellow windows over there. I think like in the third floor, the, that one. That's where I live. Holy crap, how much shenanigans we did here. Especially me and a buddy of mine called Ivan. We used to <laughs> raise hell. No, actually it was like that apartment or that apartment. I can't remember which one. And here we are. Let's see if we can find what we're looking for. Right, so it seems like there's mostly like other brands here than Taylor, so, but hey, as long as it sounds good, I don't really care if it's Taylor or not. This one, Eastman, sounds really good. I'm just gonna give this few a little, some, some strumming with my limited acoustic skills and we'll, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. actually let's see what the other ones have and let's try not to break anything so this is the Yamaha and the price is eight nine hundred dollars approximately oh I want a little, really nice like yeah uh, that sounds actually pretty good It's actually sounding really good. This one I like. This one I like a lot actually. It feels nice to play also, it looks cool. And then this other one, which is pretty much same price, I think. Same price range, yeah, a little cheaper. Hmm. Didn't have the same kind of presses that the other one had though. well-rounded tone of this. 
I actually must say, I really like these Yamaha ones. I feel like tone is a lot more well-rounded, a lot more power when you... Like you just throw on it like that, so... This one kind of looks a little bit cooler. It's a lot more twang, a lot more twang to it than the other one. It looks better and has a lot more twang, but I must say I prefer the other one. Right, so let's try that other one he recommended, the Eastman one. This one is definitely the one that feels the best, like just holding it and playing it. Also like the inlays. That's actually pretty cool. This one also feels very good to play, but I still like the sound of the other one better. You know what? I think I'll grab the Yamaha one. We decided. Yamaha it is. Cheaper and uh, recommended by the man. The man himself. <laughs> All right, so my stupid ass forgot to include this in the video, but I also got a clip-on tuner, which is pretty handy. And I got a pretty expensive capo, actually. But this one was recommended to me, so figured if I first gonna spend a little bit of money on this, on the guitar, I mean, <laughs> I might as well get a good one of these. And yeah, so that's it. So that was that. Trip to Forsan is over and uh, ended up with a Yamaha guitar. Didn't really expect that. But again, I, had, I didn't really have like any specific in mind because I don't have much references. So as long as it sounds like good presence and a lot of, a little bit meat to it. And this one really slapped and it's, uh, it's funny, right? You have all these instruments with a wide variety of prices, some race like up to like thousands of dollars. And this one cost like 800 or 830 and uh, it still sounded just as good as the one for $1,300. So, I like it So like I like to say, like music here is very much like a wine tasting. So now I'll go back to the hotel and I'll just jam a little bit and uh, chill out. So yeah, uh, let me know guys if you like this kind of content like this. Very spontaneous, I have no idea what I'm doing, but let me know in the comments if you like it. And uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers.